So one thing that has always puzzled me is that how much power does a longer barrel produce? So I've got here the small little compact and the only thing I did is I put a longer moderator on because that little air bubble that they've got on from FX doesn't do it for me. I'm like any man, length or size matters, whatever you want to call it. Now let's not go there, please. Shh. Children also watch this channel. Come on guys. All right, so I've got the little snub nose in front of me, but I had a little bit of extra money left and I bought a 600 mil barrel as well. The full barrel kit, the whole katoot with that little snub nose silence on top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run these uh, pellets and I'm going to shoot 8.44 grain pellets for the exercise from power setting one all the way to max, record the speed for you. Then I'm going to swap barrels. I'm going to put the 600 meter millimeter barrel on and I'm going to repeat the exercise to show you guys what the difference in speed is between the two. For those guys that were wondering like me, your answer will be prevailed. First up, JSBs 8.44s in 4.52, power setting one all the way up to max. I must say this trigger out of the box is crap. I'll readjust it after the shooting today. Ugh, hate it. Oh well, that's quite impressive. So the maximum shooting was around about 995 feet per second. I had six shots there, five of them are clover leaf on the paper with one slight flyer that might have been me. But overall, throughout all the, the speed settings, these 8.44s on 30 meters performed exceptionally well. I actually expected the gun to shoot a lot faster. To have a power setting one out of the box at 12.2 foot pound, nah, not really what I was expecting. It was shooting my 18 grainers a heck of a lot faster with a 600 mil barrel. But let's work with what we've got. So right through all the power settings from 12.2 foot pound all the way up to 18.4 foot pound. Some decent, decent groupings at 30 meters. I'll go and try and replicate that at uh, 50 meters as well. But that's some decent grouping. I can't complain about that. 990 i think that's around about the limit for these pellets on a shorter distance i think on a longer distance they're going to spiral and do all funny and weird things now let's switch over to the 600 millimeter barrel so does length really matter so what i did is i took the little compact screwed in a 600 mil barrel also 177 put on the bigger bottle let's see if this makes a speed difference to the gun yes or no to try and keep this experiment as professional as possible, I kept everything the same. Regulator the same, silencer the same, crony the same, distance the same, pellets exactly the same. All I did is I just quickly zeroed because obviously when you change barrels there will be a shift in your scope and all of those nice things that you don't want to really hear. But it's time to give the 600ml 1.77 a go. Um, uh, the bigger bottle in front should give me a couple of extra shots as well. So let's do this. 30 meters, power setting one, all the way up to max, crony on. Go for it. Filming without some hiccups is just not filming. So currently the crony doesn't want to pick up the speed. I don't know why. Um, I missed some of the shots. So I'm just going to keep on trying until I get the correct speed and see that this bloody crony is doing his job as it's supposed to do. Let's try him once more. Oh, finally, crony is working. Power setting too. Oh well, finally got the crony to work. Yes, there is a speed difference, but I'll have to get the calculator out to show you guys exactly what it is between the old 500 barrel and the 600 barrel. The one thing that I'm not extremely excited about is that the groupings aren't as good as with the 500 barrel. I would have thought that the 600 barrel would give me much, much greater accuracy, but I don't know if this is just the increase in speed or the little bit of increase in speed that opened up the groupings like that. 
but I'm used to a lot better groupings with a 177 at 30 meters. All right, time to go and do the final measurements and give you guys the wrap up. What's the difference between a 500 and a 600 meter barrel high power in 177? So after having a closer look between the accuracy of the two barrels, the 500 meter barrel did outpip the 600 millimeter barrel, which was quite interesting for me. The speeds, well, that's another story. Although a 4 to 8% spread between the two in actual speeds, the 600 mil was a bit faster. 6 or 7% doesn't sound like a much, but if you put it in feet per second, that's up to 50 feet per second faster on some of the power settings. Now that makes a real difference. But overall, I was slightly disappointed. I thought that the 600 mil barrel was going to give me at least 10 to 15% faster pallets. Well, lesson learned. Time to take them out to the 50 meters and see if they are just as accurate. That's all, folks.